take the microphone and unplug it and so you can hear me a little better but um, the whole crowd is gathered here um, including the alderman I'm going to turn the camera on. Here comes the mom again. And other family members. Let's hear what they have to say. This is mom here in the center. With the buttons of her son on her shirt. Come on, Jay. Go see him. Stand right there. You guys are reading out here in a little while. I'm just going to wait for things to start here. I'm probably going to have to. No, don't make it happen. I'm going to have to get a mic. I'm going to have to plug in. I'll let you know what mom likes to say. So you can see the grief in her eyes and her face. And she is, you know, trying to deal with all that's going on in the world. Excuse me, everyone. Can everybody just grab hands? We're just going to open up in prayer before we do anything, okay? Okay. on one accord. Let's petition the throne of grace right oh, now. Hold on. Right Eternal God, our Father. Yes. Oh, how great thou art. Yes. yes. For the rising of the sun to the going down of the yes. same. Father yes. God, your yes. name is yet still worthy to be praised. Yes. Amen. Father God, you said in your word that if my people that are called by my name yes. will humble themselves and pray. Yes, Lord. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes. Then you will hear from heaven, forgive their Thank sin, you, and heal the land. Mm -hmm. So, Father God, here we now called by your name, yes, Lord. humbling ourselves to your word. Yes, Lord. Asking you right now to have mercy on have this, mercy. your family. Yes, Father God, we ask right now that you will bind these spirits yes. that come to kill, steal, and destroy yes. our babies. Yes. Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus right Thank now you, that not one more of our children will have to be failure or fault senseless to this violence in this yes, community. Yes, Father Lord. God, we don't know what's going on in our community, but we know it ain't of you. Yes, and so yes. right now, we Thank plead God. the blood. Thank we God. plead the blood on these streets of Chicago. Yes. We plead the blood on our children today. Yes, we plead Lord. the blood on the families today. Yes. We bind the spirit of hatred. Yes. We bind the spirit of fear. Yes. We bind the spirit of light. We yes, bind Lord. the spirit of evilness. We bind the spirit of violence. Yes. And we loose the spirit right now of love. Yes. We lose the spirit of peace. Yes. We lose the spirit of unity. Yes. We lose the spirit of temperance, yes. meekness, joy. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of we Jesus. call on you in the midst of this time. Yes. Asking that you would bring peace to this troubled heart. Yes. That you would give peace to this bereaved family right now. Yes. Father, not quite knowing what they're going through, yes. but we know that you have all power. Yes. All power in your hands. Yes. That you would do the impossible. Yes. We tried this. Yes. We tried that. Yes. Lord, we're giving it all back to you. Yes. We're asking you that you will move now. Yes. Move like a rushing wind yes, Lord. on the streets of Chicago. Yes. Move right now on our babies. Yes, Lord. Lord, we love our babies. Yes. Lord, we need our babies. Yes. Lord, we can't stand to lose not one more of our babies. Yes. And then, Father, we have to look on this family. Yes. Touch them when they don't know what to do.
to do. Yes. Touch them when they don't know which way to turn. Yes. Yes. Touch them when they reach out to somebody and can't find them. Lord, move right now. Move right now, Lord. Bring peace right now. Bring peace right now, Lord. Then, Lord, for those who come out to support. Bind us together as one. Bind us together as one, Lord. Use us to build, Lord. Lose us, use us to build. And we be so eternally grateful to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Let every heart say amen. Say amen again. One more time for the Spirit. My name is Don Valenti and I'm a crisis responder with Chicago Survivors. We have the uh, unfortunate job of dealing with families in the aftermath of a homicide. Again, we stand in front of you with another child who was lost senselessly to street violence in Chicago. And what I need this community to understand is when you took this baby's life, you affected this whole family. You didn't just take his life. And if you're out here and you see this and you're listening, look at what you did to this family. Tell that kid was 15 up. years old. 15. He couldn't get a driver's license. He couldn't get a credit card. He couldn't even get his own apartment. Yet somebody took it upon themselves to take his life for what? There's nothing that a 15-year-old can do to anybody for him to deserve what you guys did to him. Again. This is another senseless crime in the city of Chicago. We're approaching probably somewhere near 500 murders. We still got a few more months left in the year. This is his mother here. This is him. He just started high school. He just started high school. My son was a beautiful kid. 
My son was a, my name is Polly Nisha Sykes. Demetrius Griffin was my son and he was well loved. Community, I need your help. They killed my baby out here in this alley. I need somebody, you know something. Please come forward. They took my life. Community, I need your help. They taking our kids. They got to stop taking our kids. Community, I need your help, please. We can talk about your son. My what son's a beautiful kid. He, he was a gang member. That's right. He was a very, a very respectful kid. He walked everybody in the neighborhood, dogs. He, he loved everyone. He rode everybody bikes. Everybody loved my son. He was a beautiful kid. So community, I need your help, please. They're killing our kids. You know who you are. Turn yourself in. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Well, Polly, they know who it is. Tell them to turn their head now and get them. Bring his ass to justice or bring them to justice. Or whoever it is. My name is Emma Mitz. I'm the Ottoman for the 37 War, the area where the young man was killed. This is happening too many times in our neighborhood. Too many kids are being lost, too many lives, but this is very different. When you take one and burn their body where it's unrecognizable, that is a message being sent that we don't need no message. That is the horrible thing I heard of. And we need to get an end to this. Anybody out there, gangbangers, whoever you are that got that much hatred in your heart, you need to turn yourself around. That is not the way to live. Once a life is gone, you don't get it back. So we need to just stop all this foolishness, craziness, hurting and grief on family members. Somebody has to go through another funeral. Look at the grief this family is feeling. Last week it was another family feeling grief. Tomorrow it'll be family members. Let's come together with love. If we start putting love in the family and holding on to one another, maybe we can stop some of this foolishness. Life is too precious to be lost in such a violent way. It's too precious for to lose a life, even when it's an accident. This is no accident. This is intent. And as the alderman, I will be working to find out that this family gets some justice Thank you. for what has been done. That's something I've been working on already. Even, even as of Sunday, I was questioning about this incident with the superintendent because I want to know what happened to this kid Amen. in this garage. That's right. This is this is something people have to live with. How can you live with something so hard, so horrific? So horrific? Yes. How can you live with that? We want the family to have some type of peace, even after losing their loved one. That's all. This is not That's a all. So I'm calling upon the help of the police department now, talking with the commander, so we can stand up and get some end to this. Thank you. you. Gotta stand up for Thank each you. other. And anytime you close your eyes and you don't see. That's my yes, great nephew. Yes, see, them a week ago. We don't take kids like that. What happened to the respect? We respect kids and all the folks, but we don't even respect each other. Let's try to respect each other. And if you see something, don't say it ain't your business. If you do it in public, it's anybody's business. You tell. It ain't no shutting mouth. You tell what you see. You tell what you know. You don't let these kids keep dancing for nothing. This is not God's choice for them to leave here like that. That's for them evil folks to be like that. Don't turn your back this time, y'all. We really need to find this solution for real. I mean, if y'all talk about Black Lives Matter, this life did matter. All lives matter. That's the whole big point. All lives matter. All children deserve to be children. Children should not be killed, shot down, crucified. And whoever did whatever they did to Demetrius, you do something called overkill. You don't uh, shoot people, break their bones, and then set them on fire. You do not torture nobody that way. And I am Demetrius' great auntie, his oldest one. 
and the, everybody don't know the hurt and the pain that you cause in the family, the hurt and the pain that you cause this, cause this grandmother with all this nonsense. We won't have to worry yes, about it. We always talk about other people going to kill us. They don't have to kill us. We're, we're killing, killing ourselves. ourselves. That's right. We're going to make our own okay. self esteem. Right, we're going we're gonna, to okay, we, close out in prayer, okay? Okay. Grab a hand, please. If everybody could grab a hand. Grab a hand. If everybody could grab somebody's hand. See, the touch is a very important thing, and the lack thereof could be why things like this are happening. And so if everybody could grab somebody's hand and we could show the unity that is greatly missing, don't be afraid to touch your neighbor. That's right. Because if somebody had touched somebody, then somebody wouldn't be standing here right now. Amen. So if somebody grabbed somebody else's hand, may we pray. Yeah. Heavenly Father, yeah. we need you today like never yeah. before. Amen. Time out for games as usual. Time out for business as usual. Time out for the tears. Time out for the pain. Lord Jesus, we need one less bullet. One more gun to jam. We need one more life to matter. One more heart to love. Because today, there's too much crying. Father, we know you can. Father, we know you will. Father, bless everybody here. Bless them to reach out to somebody. This kid should not have died. Amen. This family should not have to cry. More graduations and less funerals. Amen. More smiles, more touching, and less tears. Heavenly Father, bless somebody out there who knows what happened here. Amen. Let them come forward, Lord. Give them the courage that only you can give. Bond this community together, Lord. Bond them so tight, Heavenly Father, that one cannot fall for another. Heavenly Father, earth holds no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And so right now, Heavenly Father, we're asking healing. We're asking that people will pray. We're asking that people will talk. We're asking that people will embrace this family just like it's their own. Because it's their own. It's their own son. It's their own cousin. It's their own brother. When one of us falls, we all fall. When one of us falls, we all fall. And so let us stand together. Let us pray together. Let us love together. And let us make it through to the sunrise together in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Kind of wrap it up here, everybody. You can see the grief and the pain, and hopefully someone will come forward and help this family get justice. For now, take care. Good night. God bless.